Oh, hi there. This is Christina, and today is February the 4th, and only one day after MetaTrader just released their new build 600 for MT4. We know this is probably the most significant update in MT4 history, and not only they have enhanced the platform and gave a lot of more uh, possibilities to end users, more importantly, the programming language has been sub substantially revised. So now we can actually do more things. That is a good thing. However, it has some impact for your past written programs. I will talk about that later. So for this video, the purpose for me is not to give you all the technical details and what has been changed in MT4. And for that, you can probably read some online um, online articles for example this one and just read the post one of this thread you will have an idea what has been changed and what I wanted to talk about is just two very basic things that can help you to make a smooth transition between build 509 to build 600 the first one I want to talk about is the folder and data structure or folder structure Second, I wanted to talk about the impact on your existing codes, okay? So at this point, I think it is possible you have not um, upgraded your system yet, or you have, okay? So if you have not upgraded your system, um, I think the best thing to do is to copy your entire current MT4 with all the useful programs you have, and copy them somewhere else and do a complete backup. And also this backup, you need to log in once and then uh, log out of your account. So it's not completely disconnected online. It, it just serves the purpose of, of having a backup. And then you install the new build somewhere else on your hard drive. So this old one just become a backup now. And or you could simply back up your expert um, expert folder together with this particular file. That's your uh, old compiler. So this will work with any old files. And maybe you need it. OK. Um, so having done that, then now you can install the new one. If you have already upgraded your system. You do need to know how the new files are being handled and how the file is being um, being structured. It is significantly different than what we used to. For example, what we used to is have under the root folder we have experts and all the everything else like indicators include files script is under the experts and uh, all the expert advisor is directly under the expert um, folder and more importantly if i as a user wants to copy some files into it i just copy them directly in the installation folder and i will be able to use it but uh, for the new um, MT4 is completely different. If you have not used MT5 before, you might find it strange. So first, we have an installation folder. For example, in this case, is this. And however, you can only uh, hear only you can only see the out of box programs. For example, this is my new MT4. You can see. Under customer indicator folder, I have several folders, and then I have my uh, all the folder indicators. But first of all, you can't see an expert folder here because now the indicators are not under expert anymore. Everything is under MQL4, and see expert has its own folder, indicator has its own folder. They're separated. That's the first thing you will notice. And second thing you will notice, and here you see examples, but you don't see these folders. And also, I let's say they, these two are, uh, see these first four indicators is what I copied directly into the installation folder. 
I intended to, let's say I intend to use it. However, you don't see it here. So it's like something I have it here, you don't see it here, and something I have it here, you don't see it there. And the reason is these are copied directly by user, directly under the installation folder, and that is not the correct path to copy user custom files. And if you do it this way like this, it won't show here. And the correct way is finding the path. The data folder is this by doing file and open data folder. And you, you can see the complete path here that is different than your installation folder. It's actually create, specifically created by, by this particular user. This is something related to Windows 7 and 8. So only you find here, you go to MQ4. For example, we find the indicators. Now you can see here are the, everything is related uh, to this particular installation for MT, instance of MT4 I can use. Remember these few custom indicators I copied in the installation folder, they're not here. That's why they're not usable. You must copy it to here. Um, in order to keep this, to make it easy for you to find these folders, you could just every time just open it, open data folder from here. But you can only access this when MT4 is open. Or you can simply just, uh, or you can simply just do this. File, open data folder, and find this folder we go this. You can make a uh, shortcut and then move this shortcut to this to desktop like I did here. For example, I did a go market MT4 data. Make that shortcut so every time I can easily access this. And now I can copy and paste my files. So here's what you should consider when you think about modifying your older files or coding a new program. So MetaTrader did promise backward compatibility. That means, in theory, most of the old EX4 files should work on the new platform if you don't want to make any changes. Uh, but anything generated from now on using the new version will not be able to play and use in the old version. And also, because the coding language has been changed, if you wanted to take an old source code and wanted to make any changes to it, first, that source code needs to be adjusted accordingly to fit the new coding language. Okay. Lastly, I want to explain to my existing clients how uh, the naming system works for my servers. So if you're a existing client, you know um, all the files I deliver, it has the names looks like this. So first is the EAL indicator name and then we have a specific date attached to it. So that way you will be able to see which version that is. So from this version for this MT4 new build and we're going to adopt the, uh, the universal approach that MT4 has. So from uh, from this point, let me just give you one example here. Uh, here. So here from now on, we're going to use the version number. Instead of a date, we're going to use a version number starting from 1.00 or 1.01, uh, etc. Or if there's a significant change in the rule, then we might jump to like 2.00 or something like that. So if you get files from me, that if you see the format like this, that means it is the old EX4 or old MQ4. If you see something format like this, that's a new EX4 and new MQ4. And the version here, so for the new MT4, it has um, has an extra panel when you open up whatever programs you are using. And here it contains some basic information here. For example, this is a version. This is an indicator name. 
the programmer and copyright to who. And here you can see what on what day this version is being updated and delivered. And lastly, I will always code a simple explanation about this particular version. For example, this is the initial version or this, this is an updated version and what has been changed. I will give you some brief explanation of this uh, about this version so you can remember. Uh, another thing we wanted to ex explain is uh, there's another somewhat neat thing to do because previously you if you remember all these uh, uh, variable numbers sometimes they could be awkward and here and for this new version the variable the actual variable names is hidden to the user if programmer choose not to display it. You only see a description of this particular variable. I want you to consider there's a, a lot more new things you can do. And one thing specifically is about all of these user inter interactive controls. See, like before, for example, if I want to hit a button and let the EA to do something that is awfully hard to do in the previous version. But in here, now we can do it. Uh, because this is this version is so new, I haven't done any project with it. But uh, you, you you can see, I will show you some some possibilities using MT5. See these the others. These are the things we we could do if you are thinking of designing some user inter interactive control panels, and uh, you can you can do that. For example, have you can change some parameters on the fly and without restarting the indicators or for example something like this. This is just some examples. These are the things that's very hard to do in the past and then you can open all three positions at the same time uh, which is possible possible in this new build. It's just one thing I specifically want to point out to you guys. Um, okay, I, I think and also if you wanted to be able to be completely fluent with to navigating and to take full advantage of the new version, for example, how to subscribe signals and how to buy product in the market and just uh, go to the help topics and go through all of them. Okay. Thanks.